Good morning from the world's busiest wildlife hospital, Tiggy Winkles here in the UK. Um, hello guys. <laughs> I'm by one of the pools at the moment. Actually, if you look behind me, that's quite, look, look at the huge heron nests with all the herons on it. Incredible. Uh, it's just an update uh, to say uh, thank you for your good wishes. Um, yes, we are uh, soldiering through. Um, we've had a lot of questions sent in by uh, members of the public, so I'm going to try and answer a few of those um, this morning or this afternoon. Uh, but firstly, a big shout out to all of you who work for the NHS. Um, you are superheroes. Uh, we are so, so grateful and thankful that you're there uh, to catch us if we fall. Thank you, guys. And to Boris, Come on, Boris, get well soon. Right, so back to Tiggy Winkles. Uh, yeah, we have over 1,000 patients in today. Uh, we are still taking patients in. Uh, we are still open 24 hours. It is tricky. It's tricky as heck, obviously, uh, because uh, we have to um, uh, social distance. Everybody, all the team members in the hospital are working two meters apart. We have limits on the number of people that can go into each particular ward or intensive care unit at any one time. And a number of our team um, are working from home. Uh, shout out to Andrea and Nikki and uh, the rest of the gang. Um, but we are hanging on in there. It is tricky. Uh, happy Easter for this weekend. It's uh, normally our busiest weekend of the year where we get the most donations in because people come to the visitor center, which is still shut. Please don't come to the visitor center because uh, we shut that before lockdown. Um, and uh, it's better to be safe than sorry. Everybody should be obeying the lockdown laws. They suck, they're horrible. Everybody's stressed and worried, um, but there you are. All right, so um, uh, another couple of shout outs. These are really exciting ones, actually. Uh, I'd like to uh, um, uh, thank Carol Vorderman. Ooh. Uh, she chose us with her brilliant site at the maths factor uh, okay got that at the maths factor I think I've got that right uh, and uh, uh, we're one of her chosen charities so um, uh, if you have a look online for that and it's brilliant because also if you you have children and you're obviously socially isolating uh, you can go on there and there's uh, tiggy stuff on there um, and, and math stuff yes that's our brain grow and brains can grow during this uh, terrible time uh, and a shout out to um, uh, Russell Brown, one of our vice presidents, who uh, kindly sent me a, a, a voice message the other night to say, keep your chin up, guys. So we are. Um, uh, we're doing our very best. Morale is high, uh, so much so that I did some kind of bizarre dancing thing uh, on Facebook the other day. <laughs> Uh, to uh, to make sure that um, uh, we're all still smiling and we are all still smiling and finally a, a huge uh, thank you to Her Royal Highness Princess Alexandra she's our patron at Tiggy Winkles and she wonderfully sent through a, a lovely letter to all of us uh, yesterday um, thanking us and thinking of us at this tricky time and it is a tricky time for everybody so please stay safe questions I've been asked um, there are a few let's start at the beginning firstly uh, one of the common questions is uh, do animals get coronavirus, COVID-19? Well, the answer is apparently yes. Um, uh, allegedly, there are some tigers uh, that have contracted the virus, uh, but we have seen nothing um, so far that leads us to believe that uh, we've got it in any of the British wildlife. Having said that, uh, I'll leave that to my amazing science guy, Steve, who'll be shooting some videos, hopefully, when he gets some spare time, because he's absolutely chock-a-block. Steve uh, is a very special vet, um, and we have him here full-time. He's an absolutely incredible guy, very knowledgeable, and specialises on a number of species. Um, I won't say any more because his head will get too big to get into the prep room. But uh, stay tuned, he'll be shooting some uh, educational videos as well, um, which is quite exciting. So, uh, yes, so I can't answer that question. Good start. Second question is, how are we doing? Uh, we are doing okay. Um, we did run a bit low on dog food and newspapers, but uh, we got uh, a huge delivery in, which was uh, just in the nick of time, thank goodness. Um, you have to bear in mind that most of our patients eat dog food. Bizarre, isn't it? Uh, birds and mammals. Everything eats dog food. Isn't that strange? Um, but yes, so uh, we are doing okay. Uh, as I said, some of us are working from home. We're social distancing. We change the rotors so that we can cope and we only have a a skeleton, if that's the right word, a skeleton uh, team in at any one time um, because uh, our staff are very, very important. 
Talking about staff being very, very important, um, it was something that um, Russell Brand, because occasionally I do look at his channel and he, he has some wonderful ways of helping um, mental stress and issues at this horrible time. And uh, one of the things we did is that we um, hired a local uh, psychoanalyst, fantastic lady, um, so that if any of our team, love the goals if any of our team uh, are struggling they can just 24 7 pick up the phone and uh, speak to her she's a fabulous lady oh, next questions well worth it so uh, yeah how are we doing we're doing okay uh, do the animals they're doing okay um, the visitor center is shut sadly uh, but do uh, stay tuned because what we're trying to do is get Steve and uh, some of the uh, other members of staff here to I just suddenly realised it's me on the camera all the time, isn't it? Let me turn that around. There you go. Totally professional. Uh, so, so that um, Steve and some of the other team can come on and answer your um, uh, technical questions and show you what's going on. Obviously, social distancing, we can't all be in the same place at the same time. Um, so uh, I'll do bits out here and Steve will do bits in theatre and it'll be very exciting. Here is what you would have been coming to see if you were visiting the visitor centre. Uh, there's the badger enclosure and there's a, a set in there that you can see into. Um, um, there's somebody cleaning, nice, uh, and there's a new building going on, uh, which we've had to slow down, obviously, because uh, money's a bit tight. Um, and there are all sorts of fun and exciting things. Hopefully the visitor centre will be open again in the summer. There's lots of interpretation boards and stuff to help for all ages. Some frogs in there, some toads, some newts, a water wheel. Uh, <laughs> Uh, indigenous polecats, oh yes, very rare. Uh, they breed here and they've, they're going back to the wild in their droves. We're doing really good because they're a, a special, uh, quite a rare species. Um, and even fish. Good Lord. Do we even, yes, we even, there's a big fat fish there. Look at that one, it's huge. That's one of those koi carpy things. Well, we do get fish because obviously there are environmental disasters and uh, traumas that happen um, and canals and rivers and so on and so forth get polluted and we get bucket loads of fish dropped off. So, you know, we save everything. Oh, there we are. So the visitor center has no visitors in it. Still has quite a few gulls. There's the shed, there's Tiggies. Look, this is gonna be opening this year. This was Tiggy Winkles in my back garden when we first started. All those years ago. Can't believe it, I know I only look 21, but it's over 40 years ago now. Uh, so, there we are. Yeah, everybody's tucked away. Everybody's been fed and watered. So, I won't go into the uh, uh, wards and stuff today, um, because uh, obviously we get social distancing numbers, but please do um, feel free in the summer to give us a call and see if the Vista Center's open. Because uh, obviously, there we go. Obviously having uh, missing Easter, um, you know, it's a, it's a hard financial thing for us. Um, mm, very tough time, but um, we're keeping smiling, we're keeping going, and uh, we're still saving the animals. So um, thank you again to everybody who's looking after the humans. You're amazing. And um, stay tuned for exciting stuff from scientific people who know what they're talking about. Take care. All the very best. Bye.